What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, Bond's apartment. Luke, you know the drill. <laughs> um, so today, maybe I should do it like like I'm a newscaster. So today's video is about what you see behind me here. It'll be in focus. If I'm out of focus, it's in focus. Cinematic mode. You know what I'm saying? It's a new thing I'm trying. So I've done a few other YouTube videos where I'm standing here. This is kind of my, I mean, I'm in my guest room slash, slash home office. Um, there's bond things kind of scattered around the room, but this is where the majority of it lives. And I've had people DM me and ask me what's on there. You know what? I mean that you can see certain things, but what's all on there? What's the meaning behind some of the things I have on there? So this video, we're going to go through it. So as you can see here, this is kind of a head to toe. You've got a lot of different Bond things. So you've got Bond, Bond, more Bond, some Star Wars, some Lego, some miscellaneous stuff. So we'll go through every single item on here. Some of them I'll show close-ups of, and some of them I'll just grab and uh, show you myself. So let's get started. So this flask says licensed troubleshooter on it and it was like a little bit of a Christmas gift from the Bond experience, Mr. David Zaritsky. So a lot of uh, sentimental value there. Oh, it's so much. Appreciate it. A lot of things you'll see on here too are actually gifts from people. Not just things in my collection but a lot of gift type stuff. Um, so working our way from the top up here, you've got this No Time to Die cardboard like cylinder thing that a no time to die water bottle was in this here a little mini McKellen 12 this was given to me by Lorenzo and Cassandra Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Miss Omega Bond watches the first time I stayed at their home this was one of the many things that they gave me for being a guest thank you um, of course we've got the DB5, the Lego, I think they call it Expert or something, DB5. The new one, which I think is one of the greatest things Bond has ever done toy-wise. Um, we've got the new No Time to Die soundtrack. Picked that up at Target, I believe. Um, these little things are actually pins, different 007 pins. There you go. These are little... There's a little, that one says Skyfall. They're all kind of scattered across this, but that's from one of those, I think it was like a Q box or something. I can't remember. It was some box, some subscription box that a lot of us Bond fans subscribed to, got the box, then unsubscribed because it's not all Bond stuff. It's just the one time. This is, so I'm a huge hockey fan. This is a T Toronto Maple Leafs game used puck that I got, uh, we went on like a little mini honeymoon right after we got married. We got married late November, so we didn't want to go on a honeymoon right away because it's around Christmas and Thanksgiving. So we waited until it was like terribly cold and crappy and there was nothing to look forward to. So we went uh, eventually, but we went to that game and I'm trying to get a puck from every arena I've been to. So that was another one that I've got. So moving down to the second shelf, a lot more stuff on here. So you've got an empty bottle of McKellen 10. Um, it's only empty because I actually poured that all out into a decanter. But the special part about the McKellen 10, of course, it's got its Bond uh, relationship, McKellen does. But the 10, they don't make anymore. So the 10's actually kind of rare. And I've had that for probably five or six years and put it in this decanter. I don't really touch it. I don't know why, but I actually really like the 10. And like I said, they don't make it anymore, so it's very difficult to find now. Next, we've got the Goldfinger vinyl. That was a gift from a friend of mine named Al. Thank you, Al. Empty bottle of Blackwell. That one, obviously, is something you can get uh, in Michigan. It's very difficult to get, but you can order it online. So I saved one and kept it there. I've still got you know, the 007 one as well. 
This is Pierce Brosnan, a crocheted Pierce Brosnan from Brigitte Garumeth. I think I said that right. We haven't talked in a while. Brigitte? Brigitte? I hope you're doing well. Um, so she and I actually worked together on designing that. And I sent her pictures and she sent me some mock-ups. And that one, I believe, is the first ever one that was made, which is really cool to have. Um, of course, here. What else? GoldenEye 64. I mean, this is like a collector's item now. So this just kind of chills here. I have an Omega Loop for watches given to me by Mr. David Zeritsky. That's pretty cool. Always cool to have that. There's a very cool way of taking some very detailed watch pictures, if you know how to use that. Um, we've got the 007 kind of Casino Royale coasters, um, a couple more pins. This DB5, diecast DB5, I've actually had for a very, very, very long time. Um, this here is a ticket stub from going to see Colbert and Daniel Craig in New Jersey last year, which was really cool. I actually um, specifically asked, I can't remember how I did it, but Basically, when I bought it online, I said, I want to pick it up at Will Call. I don't want a digital one. I wanted to have something to, uh, to remember it by. This Christmas gift, 25th anniversary, Tomorrow Never Dies soundtrack. This thing is fantastic. One of David Arnold's best two-part little thing here. I think it's like 40, 50 songs or something. Very cool thing to have. This also took forever to get here. Um, this, also a gift from Mr. David Zaritsky of The Bond Experience is the notepad that um, Daniel Craig and Leia Seydoux write on, or it's kind of like a mock-up, you know, replica or whatever of the hotel that they stay at in Matera. Very cool. We've got the Benson and Clegg No Time to Die tie bar. Nice little feature to have. This little fire missiles, it goes in your AC adapter in the car, I think. Spectre Cufflinks, that was also from, I believe, that box that I had mentioned earlier with the pins. Um, a couple Omega pens, one of them I believe is from Lorenzo, the other one is from Rainer. Thank you, my guy. Um, the No Time to Die, this is Saffin's Mask Keychain. That actually came with the No Time to Die um, Blu-ray that I bought. So this is like a Saffin Mask keychain. I got a kind of, huh, not bad, cool little collector's thing. I've got some of the books. What's cool about these books is I actually found them in Northern Michigan. We were in Traverse City, went into like an old antique store and found those, which was really cool. Um, and then lastly on this shelf, I believe that's it for this shelf. My friend Mike, who I love, who was my best man at my wedding, got me this gold I can't remember what is it. It's a $5 gold, kind of like a Perth Mint thing. It says 007 on it. I think he saw it on eBay or something one day and picked it up. Just out of the blue. We went out to dinner with him and his wife, Evan, and uh, he just slid this over. He's like, hey, I got you this. What a guy, right? Okay, down to the next row. This one's got a lot on it, and this is when we start to branch out from the bond, but there's still both. So we've got the No Time to Die, April 2020, that's comical of me. The No Time to Die popcorn bucket, unused, of course. Another Brigitte Garumeth masterpiece of doo-doo from No Time to Die. This is the special edition, let's see if I can get this out. The, oh, and there it all goes. This is the special edition Spectre Belvedere. So that actually, the one thing I didn't mention, right up top here, This comes in that shaker. So I've actually got two of the shakers, but just the one of these, but this I'll never open. This is pretty cool. Not actually not a big vodka guy either, to be completely honest with you. Um, so now that these things fell over, we'll just kind of keep going with them. I got some 60th anniversary Penfold stuff sent to me by Penfold by Mr. Gavin at Penfold. Thank you very much for that, my friend. Six years of bond. Got the no time to die stuff on there. This is a Penfold Hearts ball marker, also really, really cool. Gavin is a great dude, the new CEO of Penfold. 
glad I got to meet him and hang out with him and interview him. Really cool guy. Thank you for these. Um, next, let's see if that'll stay. This is a empty bottle of Bollinger, 007 Bollinger. David and Danielle actually opened that the first time Brienne and I visited them for like a long weekend because it was like our one year anniversary of being engaged. So they kind of surprised us and had that little, little thing there. This I skipped too. I don't know how I skipped this. My buddy Grant gave me this. Love you, boy. Another uh, James Bond pop Funko. I got a bunch of them. A bunch of them. Thanks, my boy. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got on this thing? So I've got a big thing with aviation. I kind of wanted to be a pilot for a long time. So I, there was a point in time where I collected these, especially as a kid, just these like little die cast planes. This is Air Canada. I've got, uh, I think one just says Flybird on it. And then the other one's a Delta one. Uh, we got a sleeve of pen fold balls here. We got the Floris 007, another pop from No Time to Die. I've got two of these, which I'm really fortunate of. These are the Omega Milanese strap keychains. So it says Omega on one side, 007. It's the same Milanese strap they put on the No Time to Die watch. Really cool. Um, next, little Formula One thing here. Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes Formula One, Lego, what's up? Uh, okay, last two things on here. So this is actually a Zegna Omega tie given to me by who else? Lorenzo from Omega Bond Watches. This was my birthday gift, I believe, last year. If you look really close, you can see the Omega very, very, very hard to find that. It's a very cool gift. And then last on this thing, and I'm not going to take it out even though I should, the book in the back there was a gift from a girl I work with named Brittany. Thank you very much, Brittany. I think she was cleaning out her mother's place or her father's place and came across this and knew I was a huge Bond fan, shipped it out to me. Um, very, very thoughtful. But what it is, is a collection of Bond movie posters um, from all different countries. So it's a really cool book that I think once we get a bigger place, I'll probably put like on a coffee table or something. That's that. Moving on to the next. So lastly, we got a couple more pins. A lot of Star Wars stuff. So you've got Daniel Craig, a little Daniel Craig stand-up thing. Um, this from Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars like speeder, swoop speeder, my cousin got me that. Pudge, what's up? Thank you. Um, this here, Romeo y Julieta cigar. Obviously everybody knows James Bond connection there. I've got, it's a Star Wars mug actually from Galaxy's Edge at uh, Disney, which is cool. Um, I got a TIE fighter. I've got many, many of the Bond, or Bond, Star Wars vehicles. I've got the X-Wing, the Y-Wing, the B-Wing, TIE fighter, Kylo Ren's fighter, speeder, all kinds of stuff. Huge Star Wars freak. Um, of course, here, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Come on now. This, one, this is my home invasion tool. Just go in here. Unscrew this, put the big one on, put the lights here. <laughs> it scares my dog. Um, we've got some more Star Wars stuff, these little micro machines, I think they were, I can't really remember. And then this is actually a shark jaw from Hawaii when I was a kid. I think my grandparents bought me this, so I keep this. It's my grandmother's passed away, sadly. Still got my grandpa, he's a tough old dog, but uh, shark jaw. And then the very last part here, the bottom, Easy to kind of go through, just some Lego stuff. That's the Home Alone house that I got this past Christmas. I actually put lights in there. So at Christmas time, we'll plug it in. And then the like monster truck looking thing is from the Lego movie, I believe. And then of course, the uh, burglar's van from Home Alone. That's it, that's kind of my collection. I mean, there's more stuff kind of scattered you know, around the place, um, some decorative stuff that I've got and 
some more stuff in the closet there, but we're not going to rummage through it. It's not in the cleanest shape at this moment. But I think the, the main reason I wanted to show this, aside from the fact that people always ask me about what's on this shelf whenever I'm standing in front of it in videos, is when I first started Bond's apartment, I didn't tell people. I told my wife, and that was it. And I started following a lot of the Bond people and interacting with them. And eventually I was like, I'm not going to do this incognito. You know, I'm going to put my name out there. I'm going to let people know it's me. You know, at first I did it like out of fear of what people would think. Friends, old friends who, honestly, I stopped caring. You know, people that like it and support it, they're good friends. If they've got a problem with it, their problem is none of my business. Write that, down. get a tattoo of that. Your problem with me is none of my business. That's kind of what I got ingrained here. I love doing it. It's a passion of mine. And like I said, a lot of these things on here are gifts. You know, gift from my best man, out of the blue. Gift from one of my best friends, Grant, out of the blue. Gift from Al, another one of my older friends, out of the blue. I mean, a lot of people just showing support for what I do in my hobby you know, with these really nice collector's things. So I have them on display for all to see. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one.